so before jumping into the MVVM it's important that you have a basic idea of data binding so data binding is the process of establishing a connection between the user layer and the data layer whenever you change the user layer data layer also changes so by using data binding you can also build enterprise level application easily you can save your time by using data binding in your application you can also consume apis that is application programming interface just by using data binding it's very helpful in rss feeds and web scraping well there are three common modes of data binding in xamarin forms one way data binding two way data binding and one way to source data binding one way is the most common mode of data binding in one way mode when we change the source then target also changes but when we change the target then there is no change on the source itself however in two way mode when we change any one of these there is an effect on both that is source changes target and target changes source however in one way to source target changes source but source doesn't change target so let's try it with an example so what i'm gonna do is i'll simply add a stack layout container in my xamarin forms main page dot dot xaml and after this i'll add two entries so i'll simply copy and paste this Now what I'm going to do is, I'll assign a name to this entry, that is one way text. After this, I'll bind this entry text with the one way text. So what I'm going to do is, I'll simply bind this, this text. with one way text so binding text equals I'll give a reference to my one way text so here we go now one important thing uh, because now I'm going to explain to you the one way mode so you have to uh, initialize here the mode property so mode equals to one way similarly I'm going to create a two-way control simply copy and paste your control here and uh, now it's two-way text So just copy and paste it here and now the mode should be two-way so I'll simply sign a two-way control here now one last thing that is one way to source so I'll simply copy the same code and paste it here but this time it's uh, one way to source one way source so I'll simply replace my two-way text with the one way source and the mode should be one way to source now I'll simply add few by a label uh, before one way two way and one way to source so that we will differentiate between these two modes so text equals to and font size equals to 30 font size equals to 24 simply copy it here and paste it here 
so it's a one way to source and it's a two way and uh, it's a one way data binding so the next thing I'm going to do is I'll simply select my Xamarin Forms project it could be Android project it could be iOS it could be universal windows platform that is UWP project it could be windows 8 and it could be windows 8.1 so I'll simply select a windows 8.1 project and run it on my local machine and uh, I'll also also sign a margin property of stack layout equals to 50 so I'll simply run it on my local machine and we'll change this entry then there is effect on the upper entry now I'm going to talk about the two-way control that is source changes target makes sense and target changes source as well now one last thing that is one way to source property so it's my target and it's my source When we change the source, there is no effect on the target itself, but when we change the target, then the source also changes. In one way, when we change the source, this one, target also changes. In two way, source changes target and target changes source. And in one way to source, when we change the target, then source changes so make sense